more to the Minecraft file Jimmy Swift skills will drive you wild From the treehouse to the city bank It's the Minecraft files all day Hey, what's going on, Swifters? It's Jimmy Swift here, and welcome back to the Minecraft Files. This is episode 4 in season 4, and today I am not taking requests from you guys just because I have something very important that I want to do within this world, and that is that we need to set up a farm. I need to start setting up some farms, um, both trees and food, to sort of like get, uh, get set up here and, and sort of feel finished in terms of actually surviving and sustaining our survival in Tropicraft. Now, on Wednesday, I can tell you this right now, Wednesday's build is going to be sweet. I got an awesome idea from one of you guys who left your uh, comment on yesterday's video, the TQS video from yesterday, and uh, we're going to be building a tower right in here that's going to go up between these two bridges, and uh, it's going to be sick, so make sure you tune in on Wednesday for the next episode. Now, of course, because I was at E3 last week and, and the series um, format sort of got messed up a little bit in terms of when these are uploaded, just so that it's clear, I know this is the third Minecraft Files in a row, but what I do is these episodes do come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting this week. So it's Monday, here's a new episode, the next one will come out on Wednesday, and then on Friday. So what we're going to do is we got to pick a good spot to make a farm, and I need to grab some of the uh, very limited farming supplies that I, I gave myself. Well, limited being with melons and pumpkin seeds so that's the only implementation we have with these seeds we have plenty I got, I got way more than I needed to um, <coughs> excuse me alright so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna take some of these trees as well <coughs> we only have two orange trees and lemons we only have two of those as well okay so I got saplings for all these different fruit trees we got limes grapefruits oranges and lemons we have melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, and regular seeds. <clears throat> all right. So now what we're going to do is we got to set up a good location, find a good location for all this. And I kind of like the area over there, um, but this area might be a little bit better because it's a little bit more out of the way. Um, unfortunately, we don't have much room on this island for a farm. So I'd kind of like to keep it maybe off-site a little bit more. So let's head over here and see. I think this area looks pretty good. So what are these called again? I completely forget. Iris. So let's get some of these iris um, flowers out of here. I don't know what they're used for. We can look it up in uh, good old Nigel Winthorpe's encyclopedia. So let's see what these guys are all about. All right. Uh, let's see. Iris. These tall purple flowers are quite a sight. They can easily be replanted. And, okay, being crafted down is going to give you purple dye. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sweet. All right, well, I'll hang on to those just in case we want to make, uh, use them for decoration or whatever. Um, so I suppose we should start to get this area cleaned out. So let's uh, clean out the grass here. And how have you guys been enjoying Season 4 so far? I haven't really asked for any direct feedback yet, but I want to know how you guys have been enjoying this season so far um, with Tropicraft, because I think it's going pretty well. I've been having a blast with it. And uh, I think it's been going super fun, and I think you guys have really, really enjoyed it so far. So I uh, just want to see your guys' feedback. Leave that in the uh, Swifter section down below this video. Just leave me a comment, and um, that way I'll know what you guys are thinking. All right. Oh, crap. We got a bunch of flowers. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's just make a little, like, garden. Improv garden. Oh, there's growing. Make a little improv garden thingy over here. Why the heck not, right? I know I just cle cleared them out of here, but... You know, sometimes you just got to have fun when you decorate. So let's do that. Uh, right there. But yeah, thank you guys for all your support. Seriously, actually, uh, TQF was the number one most liked video in all of gaming within a day. I think we're almost to 20,000 likes as well, which is super awesome. So thank you guys so much. Seriously, um, you guys mean everything to me. And um, without your support, I don't think I could continue doing what I'm doing because you guys definitely keep me motivated and keep me going day in and day out. So thank you, thank you. Um, all right. The Swifters were taken over, and we're also building farms. <laughs> and of course it's getting dark, as it always is in the Minecraft files. But we'll be all right. Um, actually, no, it's kind of dark over here. Let's go ahead and sleep. I don't, I don't really feel like fighting monsters while I'm trying to build a farm. Which, building a farm is a peaceful endeavor. It should not be something that 
you're constantly worrying about like trying to survive for your life. That's never fun. I do enough of that in uh, Super Spellbound Caves, believe me. Um, the, thing, the thing I love the most about Super Spellbound Caves, um, or at least that I would enjoy if I was watching my own playthrough or something, I'm not telling you guys how to feel, obviously, but I think it would be fun for the viewer, and this is sort of why I'm doing that series as well, is to like give the, give the sensation of, like, oh my gosh, she could die at any minute, which just kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat. So... All right, so here's what I want to do. I think I want to build a uh, the wheat farm like right in here. Uh, this looks like a good spot now. I want to bring this to you guys' attention that there are two different types of water uh, within Trappercraft. What we have here is the just normal water, and I went back to the main world and I, I brought this brought this over. Um, this is like a much lighter colored water, and actually I'm going to get two buckets just uh, just so we can set up a water an infinite water source. Now I think that. It, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to affect like the um, the actual farming itself. I'm, I don't see why it would. Um, so I think each type of water will work uh, for farming. I don't think it's going to matter. But as you can see, the uh, the water in my bucket there uh, actually it looks exactly like the distilled water from the um, the thirst mod that I reviewed a while back, which is kind of cool. So let me show you guys the quick difference here. So as you can see, the two waters are um, very different colored, and of course, you know when there's sand underneath them, this one looks a lot lighter. Uh, but for the sake of this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to use just the normal water out here. So let's grab that stuff. So we got two buckets of that, and let me go ahead and plug up this hole. I can get this normal water whenever I want back at the. Um, back at the uh, at the village so all right let's make our infinite water source right here there we go and there we go okay so our farm will be over here so let's put this right there and you know what I don't even have a uh, I don't have a hoe which is a problem that's a problem so let's do let's make a hoe there we go all right, so let's start farming. We're making farmable land. I forget the distance out from these blocks that you can actually like plant on. I want to say it's like five. I'm not exactly sure though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think yeah, the wet. It should like become wet soil five blocks away. I think one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I know it's at least four because this block is wet. Let's see if it goes all the way out to five. Please, please do it. If not, we can just accommodate for that, but it may only be four. I'm not sure. All right, uh, so while we're doing, while we're waiting for that, let's at least just start to plant. No, nope, it's only four, it seems. So uh, that's a big enough farm, though, isn't it? I'm going to stamp you out. There we go. That's a plenty big enough farm, I think. I, I don't see myself like relying on bread too heavily. There's enough there's enough in this world to sort of keep me fed or keep me well fed, I guess. Um for a while. So, we'll rely on bread a little bit for food, but it's not going to be the main source of stuff. I just like to have a bread farm set up because then it makes me sort of feel a lot more settled in Minecraft than if I didn't have one. So I definitely want to get one set up today. Um, all right, so we're also going to need fencing. And I did collect a bunch of bamboo before this. It's over at the house, so I'll have to grab it. But uh, we're going to be putting the bamboo fencing around here. And uh, then I'll be putting some tiki torches on that fencing. So the next thing I would like to set up, because this row right here will be fence uh, fences. Let's do, um, let's see here. Let's do this guy and this farm is going to be our melon farm um, oh wait the melon farms though those have to be set up a different way so I used I used to know how to do melon farms really well I can't remember quite exactly how to do those yet uh, oh so if we plant the melons here let me let me 
mark this off first with the actual with the bamboo fencing. That way I can visualize it. And uh, then we'll go from there. It looks like that volcano is erupting again. I think I see some lava over there. Actually, let's check the map. The map should sort of update itself. Maybe. It looks like there's a lot of lava out in that area. I will. I am going to make the volcano district. I will make it. Oh, they're down here. Dang it. I would just like to say, though, too, that this turtle shell looks amazing on this wall. And I feel like it's sort of like a token of achievement for me. <laughs> like, you did something with the traders, and then they gave you a turtle shell. Or something like that. I don't know exactly what happened, but they uh, they totally hooked me up, which is pretty awesome. Um, right, let's put this away. Uh, I'm going to put the bamboo spear away also because I'm not in combat right now. But we need a lot more of this bamboo if we're going to be making uh, these uh, fences. So Let's start making a bunch of fences. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me see if I can do this a little bit easier. So let's do split those in half. Split those in half. Split those in half. There we go. Stack of 64. Split, 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 split. There, that's a lot quicker. Split, 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 split. Boop. And let's just do like that. Yeah. So now I want to ask myself this. If there are bamboo gates. Uh, oh, wait. We need to do that. All right. So here's the real question. Oh, there are. That's so sweet. Yes. I was like worried about that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's so brilliant. You guys at Tropicraft, you're the best. You are the best. All right, yeah, it must be erupting because there's lava like hanging out over here. All right, so we will go ahead and put our fences down. Um, so let's do that right now. I'm gonna put the like this. We'll leave room for the fence gate, which is gonna go right there. That's so cool that they did that. There we go. Yes. Oh, this is legit. Oh, did I run out? No, we're good. Perfect. All right, and then we'll just add uh, we'll add light to that later. I should probably get rid of this around this though, so things can't jump into it. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. I'm always worried about like mobs or or just animals or whatever just getting into my uh, into my fence. Inside the fence, into the farm, and sort of trampling the crops. That's one of the most annoying things in Minecraft ever. Alright, so let's get these out of here. Get out of here, get out of here. Stilly dirt. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Get out, 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 get out. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. So, there we go. Alright, so we'll put the torches on there later. Um, so what I want to do now is we're going to set up our melon farm so the melon farm uh we need room to have these like sort of plop over so the mistake i made here is we're going to put the water right here so there we go so the water's going to go there that's going to go there and we're going to save two spaces out so we'll plant here and we'll plant here now i don't have enough seeds yet to do this um so i've sort of uh, we're gonna have to like sort of grow it into itself but that being said um, we're gonna also till the land over here like that there we go oh, right there there we go perfect okay so that should should be good one two three four. Uh, hopefully that'll hopefully it'll stay I don't know we'll see all right so let's put one there and one there and I need bone meal to grow those guys. I need bone meal. We gotta get the bone meal. I almost took the water. I was like, no, that's stupid. We'll take the bridge that we made for this purpose. Oh, that loft up there looks awesome. I think somebody wanted me to call it like the Swifter Loft, which is a super cool name. All right. This summer is going to be the best summer of Minecraft ever. Ever. 
I've got a much bigger audience now, which is a lot more fun um, because I get a lot more feedback and a lot more just like support on everything. And uh, last summer, my channel was not nearly as big as it is now. Um, let's see. Oh, well, it will, it will water the, the edges there. So that should work. Um, but uh, I'm so excited for this summer. Um, I'm really, really excited to be doing these series for you guys. And I think, I hope that this, uh, the Minecraft Files and Super Spellbound Caves are like a awesome duo of Minecraft epicness for you guys. And I hope that you enjoy them. So, all right, so the, this is very, no, this is fine. This will be fine. So the, um, the actual melons will probably either drop this way or this way or this way to be, to start with. But once all the stalks are, have grown, they'll only drop into the middle, which is super cool. So let's go sleep again. And then we'll set up our pumpkin farm. Then we've got to do like a reed farm and we'll just plant our trees. Cause I don't have enough fertilizer right now to actually grow some of those trees. We'll plant them and then we'll, we should be good. So hello, turtle shell. Good night, turtle shell. <laughs> um, no, so what I was saying was um, uh, this summer is, is super exciting for me. Um, I'm really, really excited to be working on both of these series for you guys. Super Spellbound Caves, which is going to take a while. Um, and, uh, and then obviously the Minecraft Files Season 4, which is going to be amazing. It's already amazing. And I'm so excited that this is going. Um, I think I wrote on Twitter this morning that I was really like glad that the Minecraft files was back um, because I uh, I missed it. Oh, not a bow, not a bow. I missed uh, I missed the series. I missed building stuff for you guys and just chatting and hanging out. All right, so that's gonna go there. So now we've got wheat, we've got melon, and now we need pumpkin. So let's move these guys out of here you know what we need over here because I got so much stuff in my inventory right now we need a chest so let's do oh we're in the tropics so let's do a bamboo chest why the heck not I don't see why I would make any other type of chest right now uh, due to my location okay so we gotta clear some land over here I don't want to ruin that that bamboo farm right there because that's that's definitely that's definitely a big deal. We need the bamboo. The bamboo is another farm I'll probably do, but I'll probably do that like off camera, because that I think that stuff can just grow anywhere. I think. Let me let me check. Yeah, that this stuff can grow like literally anywhere, and I could just I could stand here right now and just put like another one down right here if I wanted to, and then we're gonna have like the output will be more next time I come and farm it down like this. Um, which is which is good. So that unfortunately the uh, the bamboo doesn't grow all that quickly, but it's super super needed for building and stuff like that. So all right, so let's see. We need another bucket of water, and let's put that right here. Oh wait, pumpkins grow the same way, right? Yeah, they flop over. So we'll do that. We'll just design it exactly like the melon farm. And both of these, we're going to take, uh, take these guys and let's see here. Cover that up. Um, and now this. There we go. Um, and the same thing will go right here. All right, so unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of these guys just because we're going to put bamboo uh, fencing right there. Um, cool. Oh, look, a melon. Yes. But anyways, yeah, so I hope that you guys don't lose interest in the um, in the Super Spellbound Cave series. I know that, that got, it's getting off to a little bit of a slow start, but it will pick up and it will get way better. Like at the end of that map, here, let's get some more seeds. Uh, once we start really getting into that map, it's, oh, dang it. Um, it's going to be getting super, super fun. Um, and a lot of crazy stuff's going to happen, which is going to be epic. So, uh, I need my bone meal. Give me that bone meal. So let's grow these guys up. I'm like working on overdrive right now. S Speedy chimney. He's swift. <laughs> All right, let's do that. And so now those are going to grow. We've got a full, full row of those guys after one melon, which is pretty sweet. 
and our pumpkins. So the pumpkin seeds, I think, were down here. Uh, yes, right there. Okay, cool. So these guys, boom and boom. And, oh, I put the bomb away. What a noob. What a noob. There we go. Okay. Pumpkin stalks. Perfect. I'm going to keep that with me, actually. And now what we need to do is we need to make some more uh, fencing. Because, uh, unfortunately, we are totally out of fence. So let's do that. Oh, another melon. Hello. All right, perfect. So 28. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, pumpkin. Whoa, what's up? Uh, is that going to be enough? Oh, it will be enough. We'll be fine. Yes. Yes. Although, hold on. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Excellent. Oh, the farm output is amazing now. Check this out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Yes. So, farm city today, which is going super well. Uh, I'm out of bones, though. That sucks. All right. So, what we also need to do is we got to get another gate. We got to get another gate for that guy. And the cool thing about this farm is that we can just expand this way. We can make this wheat farm as large as we want. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I did have more fences there. What a derp. Oh, I'm out of bamboo. Son of a... There. All right, we'll run back to the house real quick and get some. Okay. So I got to get some more bamboo. Yeah, there's none growing over there. Bummers. Oh, skellies. Skellies all over the place. So I think I have some left over bamboo, and I also need some more bones. So we'll take five bones. I don't think we have the we have like two fertilizer, but I kind of want to just save that for like an emergency or whatever. Um, tiki torch pole. That's right. We're gonna need some torches over there too. I forgot about that because it is gonna get really dark. So let's take this and I think that's all the resources that we have that's all I've collected so far because I have played a little bit I've been trying to run out and collect some stuff um, I haven't had a I haven't had enough time to do all of it yet but I was hoping that it, I would have enough materials and resources for this video because um, I don't feel like yet I have enough for the um, for the tower that we're gonna build on Wednesday, but I'll try and get I'll try and get those. Uh, I'll try and get all the material for that as quickly as possible. All right, um, so let's take these guys, put those there, and there we go. So this is the last gate. Oh, what's up, bamboo? You can grow anytime you like. Seriously, the faster the better. All right, so there we go. So that's that's done. Now we need to get these pumpkins chopped down. We're going to put these into seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. The farm is complete. And, oh, the bone meal. Let's do that. So one, two. Is this stuff will take forever. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Oh, here's one right here. This guy and this guy. And we've got some melons growing over here, which is awesome. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter what I hit these down with. I always think an axe because, like, the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the pumpkins get knocked down easier with an axe, but the melons don't for some weird reason. I think swords actually are better. I think that was a little bit quicker. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm out of bone meal. There's more bones over there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because we need to finish the lighting of this farm so torch time all right tiki torches so let's do that it's 13 uh, let's try that 21 I don't know I want to put one at least on each sort of like corner post 
I know that it's probably not going to be, the lighting isn't going to be spread out as, quite as evenly as I'd like. Oh, more bamboo, yes! Seriously, anytime you want to grow, just go for it. Alright, there we go. There we go. There we go. And we'll put some in the middle right there. And right there. And right there. And how about right there? So we'll get lighting all up in this. Pumpkin farm is looking legit. So there we go. Waters are here. That looks good. Alright. So I don't know if that's evenly spaced enough or not. But the output is looking good. We are looking we're looking really good actually. So the next thing that I want to do just quickly, because uh, I'm running out of time here, is our sugarcane farm. And for that, we're probably going to need two buckets. I've already got those. But we're going to need the sugar cane itself. So for this one, we can do this um, back here. So let's do that. Um, I want to say there's a better design for these. But for right now, I'm just going to do that. I think that I'm sure there's a better design. But just for the sake of time today, I'm going to do that. And we got to go sleep again for like the third time this episode. I always am like, oh, this this video will be like 10 minutes long. No. It always goes way too long. Then my renders take too long. The uploads take too long. And then it's like, uh, it's always just Minecraft. You take more time out of my life than I want you to. I want to just be able to play you sometimes and not worry about all this stuff. <laughs> no, I enjoy this. I do. I definitely do. But uh, we should start wrapping this up here, Sue. The next thing and the last thing, um, let me get some more just water just because, is our trees. And those are up here. So we got to get those. And I may skip on the grapefruits because we've already got grapefruit trees grown out here. Um, but the other ones, oh man, is there a gap right there? There you go. The other guys, there's some lime trees over there. Okay. We don't have any orange and we don't have any lemons growing around us. So let's take care of that. So the orange trees grow right here. Holy crap, you grew already? What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. What the heck? <laughs> so, oh, sir, you want me here? All right, I'll grow for you. That's pretty epic. All right, give me some more saplings then. Oh, yes. Perfect. I didn't even... What? That was cool. That was super cool. It's like, Jimmy, I know you're in a hurry with your Minecraft file series. So I will grow for you. But you won't drop any oranges except one. Oh, there's two. Okay, finally. Okay, this tree is yielding... He, he grows quick, but he yields no fruit. What a dumb... Oh, there we go. So three. All right, three's not bad. Sorry, tree. I didn't mean to install you. I promise. So I'm pretty sure that the fruits don't drop from any of like the other um, leaves, other than like the the special colored ones. All right. We also need lemon, lemon trees. We'll just do right there, and like right here. That seems like it's good enough spacing away, right? I think so. Should be pretty good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this is just going to sort of be like our our tree farm of growth out here. We've got some grapefruit trees around here. Although some of those I kind of like for, you know, just like decoration. So maybe we can add a few more um, sort of farther away from the landscape. You guys know that I hate like destroying the landscape of my worlds. So anytime I can sort of like move... Uh, you know, trees that are going to be chopped down frequently, sort of off location. That's that's almost better for me, um, just because I don't want it to sort of ruin the surrounding area here. So, anyways, there you guys go. That is um, that is our farm here in uh, in uh, the Minecraft Files land of Tropicraft world of awesomeness and joyful delights and fun times, super mega awesomeness. <laughs> 
Oh gosh, if you're watching this and you want to leave that in the comment section, by all means, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. But um, there you guys go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Minecraft Files. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button down below. And uh, we'll be back again on Wednesday for another episode in which we'll be building a sweet tower uh, as requested by one of you guys in between these two bridges. It should look really cool when we're done. Um, yeah, there you go. Happy farming. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!